Ride with us as we do a neighborhood drive through tour of the Mesa Village. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, her sidekick. Awesome. And before we get started, let's make sure you know you like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're thinking about relocating to Summerlin or if you have to sell a home in Summerlin, you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112. Um, and I hope that the position of Damian and I is correct now. We had to do some finagling of how we place my camera on the little mount. So hopefully that's all good. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't look like I'm driving. Right. So. A couple years ago, maybe three years ago, maybe four years ago, I have done a tour of the Mesa Village. Uh, that was a while ago and you know, it's beautiful. I thought it would be nice to do an updated video of this beautiful village in Summerlin South. So we got off of the 215 and I guess, I don't know what direction we started to head, maybe west initially, but we took a right from the 215 um, and then we um got off of town center mm -hmm. and so we're kind of just taking the scenic route right now to the right is the summit which is a very exclusive high-end um, community with over multi-million dollar homes to the left is sienna which is a 55 plus retirement community so then once we go down further then also to the right is the new village oh. ascension oh, awesome they've done a lot of work yeah since we've been here last and then um, <laughs> so we're just gonna go down a little further and then we're gonna take a right I forget what I think it's Mesa Drive Mesa Park Drive or something like that so the Mesa Village was developed in 2004 which is pretty cool and it is a 497 acre village that featured seven unique different subdivisions okay so the goal of this video is to kind of just drive around the Mesa Village and if possible, go into some of the different subdivisions to show you what the houses look like. So when this community was built, a lot of these houses more to me look like craftsman style houses. Mm -hmm. Now the only new community in Mesa Village is Mesa Ridge, which is a very high end community by Toll Brothers. Um, and you know, we're gonna get into more detail about the Mesa Ridge um, community. Hopefully we'll be able to get inside um, and then to show you what it's all about. But this is gonna take us to the Mesa Park. Mm -hmm. And the Mesa Park is a beautiful 19 acre park that um, has three lighted softball, baseball fields, um, one full size basketball court, a play area, a tot lot, picnic areas, barbecue areas. We're gonna to tour the Mesa Village first, then we're gonna circle back around and tour the park. We also will have drone footage of this park um, as we, after we tour it, right? Yes. We'll do some drone footage. Jamie and I got a nice drone, so we're kind of excited about it. Having some fun. Yeah, having fun with the drone. But the nice thing about the Mesa Village is the beautiful Spring Mountain Range backdrop, right? Mm -hmm. If you could see it straight ahead, it is absolutely friggin' gorgeous, right? So we're gonna try to get into Mesa Ridge. Um, they only have maybe one lot left in the Skyview collection. Mm -hmm. Everything else has sold out. Wow, that was fantastic. Yeah, but the thing is, is that Toll Brothers homes, especially these homes, they were saying it would take up to 15 months to build. Mm -hmm. And depending on where that home was located, if it was closer to the model home, then um, then it would take longer, an additional six months. So these homes were taking a very long time to build. Some of them just got done finished and people were like, oh, I'm done now, I'm ready to sell. <laughs> <laughs> that's the case contact Angela yeah hi I'm a realtor and I just wanted to check out the last collection Skyview collection that's okay Angela sorry uh-huh hey we can get in yeah <laughs> okay thank you thank you so thank much nice uh-huh so inside Mesa Ridge 
they had four collections. Mm. You had the viewpoint collection, what else? The overlook collection, the sky view collection, and the last one was the peak collection. So the viewpoint right here, oh, I'm gonna actually go to that last because I told her I was going to. Okay, yeah, you did. <laughs> to the sky view collection. Yeah, so the sky view's over here. Let's go to the sky view. Right wow. here. This is the last collection to sell. Um, they just finally have almost complete. But look at the backdrop. Mm. Right Get your camera out. We gotta take some videos of this. Oh, nice car. See, they still have some being built, but right here to the right is the model homes. I'm sure they'll be selling the model homes very soon. I don't think. Is it too bright? Nope, because I'll be in the car a little bit here. Okay. But look how big these houses are. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're, They're huge. Oh, this style. is a good row right here. Oh my gosh, look at these houses. Mm -hmm. Now, there are cons to it is that, look how close they are together. Mm -hmm. So we're in the Skyview collection, and the houses range between 4,398 square feet to 5,007 square feet with four to six bedrooms, four and a half to six and a half bathrooms, and three car garages. So the lot sizes are big, however, because the footprint is so big, that um, you're very jam-packed now. Like these houses are backed up to the mountain, which is beautiful. You have no one behind you. So this is the Skyview collection. They're almost sold out. I think they only have one lot left. Now the nice thing about this community, and I have done a video on Mesa Ridge, is the beautiful clubhouse, the community pool, um, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Playground. Playground. We need to get out and do some drone footage. I think we do. Yeah. All we right. Need to take a quick break real quick. Yeah, we need to take a quick break, videotape oh. the park, and then do some drone footage of um, the Mesa Ridge. It's just too beautiful. Yeah. See you guys on the flip side. All right. Look at the beautiful backdrop. And then the nice park that they have here. It's beautiful out. I always feel weird filming when there's people out because I don't want to do invasion of people's privacy. I've taken some um, footage of this park. So you can always watch my YouTube video on it. Let me see if there's any other information I can disclose about Mesa Ridge. So in Mesa Ridge, they had four collections like I mentioned. Uh, with one and two story designs that range in size between 3,000 to 5,000 square feet with 14 different home designs. So then this neighborhood also boasts its own amenities, which we are walking, and it has its own social lounge. There's an outdoor kitchen, fire pits, resort style pool, bocce ball court, fitness center, and we were just at the playground. And this is only exclusive for people that live in Mesa Ridge. So that's the gym right there. And then that's the community center or vice versa. No, I don't remember. Yeah, that's the kitchen right there. It's probably gonna be locked. Let's see if they'll let me in. Probably, yep. Residents only have access. That's okay. Jasmine's blooming. It's beautiful out. Love the architectural de details of this community. A lot of asymmetrical roof lines, which is very modern, very cool. And then you have the community pool right here. Summer's here. Why aren't why isn't the pool open yet?
9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, well, I'm gonna head back to the car while Damien takes some drone footage of this community. See you guys on the flip side. Look at how neat that is. Very neat. That was a uh, very cool. That was. We got some very good drone footage. I can't wait to show you guys. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of these neighbor tours are taking a little longer is because we're actually being very detail oriented and showing you exactly all the amenities that it has to offer mm -hmm. instead of just driving and seeing it in car footage, but also to see what the actual neighborhood looks like. Um, so this is very nice that this Mesa Ridge has this community center. It's kind of like to me like Reverence has its own private community center and everything. So this is a similar concept. So this was the Skyview collection. And now we're going to go to the, I do believe it's Overlook, but I don't remember. Oh, that was the Peak and the Skyview. Half of it was Peak and half of it was Skyview. Mm. And then this it's is over. the Overlook. And this one had 73 single family homes. Um, that range in size between 32, 36 to 34, 67 square feet with three to four bedrooms and three and a half to four and a half bathrooms with 10 to 16 foot ceilings and three car garages. So this is all single story. So what are the prices? They're over a million. Mm -hmm. So if you remember, um, we're not going to go deep into it. I lost my train of thought. If you remember. All right, so let's just get the video footage of these houses. Okay. Sorry, I was just trying to play along with it. Okay, so if you remember when I was talking when we were walking in the park. So out of the four collections, two of them are only single story and the other two are two story homes, which is nice that you don't have a single story, two story combination where all is just single story, all is just two story. But this row is going to be much better, Damien, because of the sun. Perfect. So keep on. Go ahead, go for it. Yep. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Look at the nice design and architectural mm -hmm. details that they have. This is just a cul-de-sac. Yeah. So they still have homes that are being built, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, because it takes over a year plus to build in this community or Toll Brothers in general, right? So anyway, let's get out of this one and we'll tour the last collection, which is the Viewpoint collection. Oh yeah, this is a good row. Mm -hmm. remember where the models were but I think this community um, I almost I don't even know where the lot is it was either this community or the other single-story community I think it was this community I almost went under contract they were gonna build it and everything it was when the models were closing out and they were selling the models it was right next to the models but they um, fell through and they bought a Pulte home instead so I almost sold in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It would have been cool if I did. Mm -hmm. The Overlook. I like how they separated this in the peak. Yeah, I like it all. It's going to be interesting to find out what Toll Brothers and Ascension is going to be like. We did have a final walkthrough over at Regency and spoke to one of the building managers there that is going to be moving to Ascension and mm -hmm. he told us he wouldn't give us any much information very hush hush but he did say what Damien they're gonna be larger they're gonna be larger than the homes here in Mesa Ridge yes 
So we're gonna take a quick look at viewpoint. Now all of this information is in my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. Just go to at the tab with Mesa Ridge information on it. See it says viewpoint is sold out. Mm -hmm. So viewpoint, I guess we must have missed the, see? We missed the other single story community. That must have been the peak. Here, if you can hand me the camera. Yeah, got it. All right, guys, sorry. Just trying to show you what the houses look like. So, yes, they are huge. Yes, they're beautiful. But the only downside, in my opinion, is how close they are to each other. You have these million dollar homes with no yard or land uh, very close to each other, right? They are beautiful, though. They are beautiful. Three car garage. Three car garage, yeah. Alrighty, so the Viewpoint Collection had 86 two-story homes um, that range in size between 4319 to 4692 square feet with three to five bedrooms and three and a half to six and a half bathrooms with all three car garages, which is nice because a lot of people like having three car garages. Mm -hmm. It's very desirable. Like this would have been a, a, a this one would have been a good lot right, right. here. And I bet you a lot of these will have city views of the strip. Alrighty. Let's get out of Mesa Ridge mm -hmm. and finish the Mesa Village. Now the rest of the tour won't be as detailed as this one. We'll just check a couple of the neighborhoods and um, then check out the park, the Mesa Park, and get out of here. I feel like we should get footage of the Peak Collection, though, since we kind of missed it. Let's run through there real fast. Yeah, let's run through there. Because it says the Peak Collection. Mm -hmm. Is that the one that's sold out? They're all sold out. Overlook. The Peak Collection is supposed to be single-story homes. So this is interesting because those look like two-story homes. Let's go back up this way. Because that's the Skyview collection. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful that is. I know. I would like to live here. <laughs> it is I could live here or reverence. I like that it is a staff gated community. I like that you have a community center. And it's close to these beautiful mountains, just like Reverence has the close proximity to the other side of the mountains. I definitely feel secluded back here. Yeah. Okay, so this must be, here we go. Yeah. I guess because we were so involved with the um, park that we kind of skipped. Can you get me the camera? Yeah, you got it. So you can see the backdrop of the mountains. Wow, those people have some very beautiful mm -hmm. views. Oh, through the, even through the windows of the front door, you can yeah. see back there. Wow. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice collection. Mm -hmm. I remember when they first opened this up, they were priced below a million dollars. And then after a couple of years of the real estate market going cray cray, they are well over a million dollars. Some of them $2 million. It's kind of interesting how all the prices just went crazy. Mm -hmm. I like that. It seems like people have redone some of their outdoor instead of yeah, like that. I mean, that's beautiful. That Black River Rock looks gorgeous. Oh, I would love to have Black River Rock. So to this one, this had 63 single family homes or single story homes that ranged in size between 3624 square feet to 4164 square feet, three to four bedrooms, three and a half to four and a half bathrooms, and again, all three car garages. Could you imagine a single story home being over 4,000? Look at that one. Wow. Wow. 
that one bet you glass. that one I bet you has views of the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially right there. It's highly elevated mm -hmm. overlooking the park. Wow. Glass on both sides, that the front one's and back of the house. Friggin' beautiful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have oh yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. It's highly elevated. Mm -hmm. Their lot premium was probably three hundred to five hundred thousand. So yeah, because yeah, they're right look, there. And wherever the park too. Oh my god. Wow. Look at this one too. This yeah. I just love the architectural designs of these houses. Mm -hmm. Ultra modern. Yeah, very ultra modern. If you're a traditional person, then these homes are not for you. <laughs> 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 yeah, you'd probably think it'd be boxy. Yeah. I like the frills too, though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Woodwork. I think for me, I am more mid century modern. Actually, our style is desert modern. It is. That's, that is both of our style for sure. And desert modern is more organic. Of course, the desert landscape, the mm -hmm. cacti, decor. Uh, the natural the, woods. Natural woods, organic woods with the mixture of the mid-century modern furniture. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Palm Springs in, in an essence mm -hmm. in a way, but not as bold as, say, uh, mid-century modern used or to be. Or as pastel -y. No, <laughs> mid-century modern is not pastel. It's bold mm -hmm. um, with the darker woods and stuff. So this is more desert modern, more organic with the greens and the natural colors. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Too bad he didn't have the phone on and he could have been recording it. I do we're recording one. Oh, it's a roundabout. Like, you no. can roll through again. Nope. Alrighty, so we're going to stop at the Mesa Park on our way back. So in this community, like I mentioned, they have seven different unique um, subdivisions, right? I said seven, yep, mm -hmm. yep. that are single story or two story. We're going to take a right where we went with um, the Pattersons. So the architectural design for this community is more, like I mentioned, more um, modern craftsmen because a lot of the houses have the modern craftsman windows and they also have those poles like you know when you have a modern craftsman house so this is a very nice community and then they also have a community park and pool in here as well oh, okay um, we're not gonna get out and, and tour this one but it's I mean just butt up against the mountain is very nice and um, when I take a right or a left I want you to record got it Hi, and look how beautiful this is. All right, this is a perfect example of a, a craftsman style house. So there was different builders at the time. You had Richmond American, Woodside Homes, Pulte, Toll Brothers. So I like the uniqueness of this community because it doesn't look like a traditional Spanish style home in Summerlin, right? Mm -hmm. It's totally different. I don't know the details of each of these neighborhoods like I know a lot of the newer homes, um, but I just thought it would be neat to kind of just show what some of these houses look like. So the Cliffs Village is just south of the Mesa Village, and then the next other community that's close to it is Siena. But soon Ascension will be around. I think I should not have gone this way. I'm going to be getting lost in this neighborhood. Uh, let's just turn around in the cold a sec. What else? Mesas include Richmond American, Toll Brothers, Lennar, Pulte was all in here. And the houses range in size between 1,600 to 4,500 square feet. Mm, big range. Yeah. So these villages aren't done in one year, you know. It takes several years, or if not a few years, for them to complete. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and just like now we have Mesa Ridge, um, that they just recently, well not recently, now it's been a few years when they opened Mesa Ridge, but pretty much then there was no new construction left in the Mesa Village until Mesa Ridge came around. So here's that community park. I like that how in Summerlin you have your main parks like the Mesa Park. However, you also inside some of these villages or not villages but neighborhoods you have a community park and sometimes additionally a community pool. Yeah, there's a pool and spa there too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So Summerlin's South HOA is $57 a month. Now some of these communities may have two HOAs depending on if it's gated or not and if it has those amenities. So like this one would have two HOAs unlike um, some other communities that doesn't have those amenities because you're paying for the amenities basically. Feels like gum. What is this, Madonna? We've been listening to the 80s lately. Yes. <laughs> Yep. So we're not going to go through each one, but that one is. Can you read that? Rush Wing? Amaro. Oh, Amaro? Okay. The beautiful trails oh, go, throughout yeah. the community. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a drainage ditch. <laughs> Wasn't a trail. But they do have trails. Yes. Look how pretty this is. The flowers blooming. Oh, yeah. Geez. That's Montebello. Montebello. And that's Montebello. And they got another little community park in there, it looks like. Yeah, they do. So, Summerlin has over 300 parks, which is kind of crazy. That many? Yeah, because you got to think about it. Inside each community is a park. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly. Not all, but a lot of them do have a park. Yeah, look right there, And too. then each village, well, that's Gorman, Bishop mm -hmm. Gorman. And each village has its own major park. And some of them have two or three, like the Vistas has three parks. Cielo. Mm, Cielo. Let's see if Cielo's on the list. Yes, it is. Pretty soon, yep, we're hitting to the Cliffs Here Village. We go. We're going to turn around and finish up the Mesa Village. We're right, leaving Mesa, the and then here's the Cliffs. <laughs> I, I like how they distinguish it with those signs. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned. If not, we have already posted a video on the Cliffs Village. Um, and my goal is to post these villages when they were built the last time i did these videos i posted them from 1990 until the most recent one now i'm working my way backwards and doing the newest to the oldest mm -hmm. so again this was built in 2004 i do believe this was number 15 village i can't remember off the top of my head but on my website at summerlincommunities.com or neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com you can learn about every single village in summerlin so to the right is Bishop Gorman, so it sits in between the Cliffs Village and the Mesa Village, which is a prestigious private Catholic school for high school. And Snoop Dogg's son went here, oh, played really? football. Oh, Cool. Yeah. And they also have a popular townhouse community called Vista Dolce in here by Toll Brothers. That's a church, Holy Spirit mm -hmm. church. Catholic church. Catholic church. So you can see how beautiful this um, village is with all these trees, spring, all everything is blooming. We're taking it right on Russell. Then you have the mountain backdrop. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So let's see. That's Adelina. Angelina Adelina. <laughs> This will take us to Hualapai, which will flip. And that is the end of Summerlin South. Right mm -hmm. there is the dividing line. On the other side of Hualapai and Russell it is not Summerlin, just FYI. But at least you do have some little shopping conveniences. And if you go further down, you'll hit the 215, and there's a lot of other more stores and retail, retailers down below. <laughs> I hope this is not a yellow light flashing. Let me see if I covered everything. I think I did. 
So basically those just starting out, empty nesters or large families looking for five bedrooms and three car garages can find what they're looking for in the Mesa. The luxury townhomes, which I just mentioned, Vista Dolce, are ideal for those seeking a lower maintenance, upscale residence. This Toll Brothers development features three floor plans between 1,600 and almost 1,900 square feet. This is in the 89135 zip code, FYI, if you're wondering. And it is, again, part of Summerlin South. Now the question is, is this red car going to... Yeah, let them go first. Alrighty, darn it. I don't want them to go first. I know. I want to go first. That's a good sign. You're so kind and considerate. <laughs> when I want to be. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a right. Vista Dolce. A lot of roundabouts, too. Yes. See what's in up in here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, interesting. A little different design. That's gated, and this isn't gated. Mm -hmm. So if you can get the camera out. Yes. Oh, Got to be on your game, Cameron man. Mm -hmm. uh, that will give it to you. You can be the camera yeah. girl. Because it's uh, better on my side. It's funny, they still have their track. Well, this is not a very good shot. No. <laughs> Let's see if I can get something because the sun's too much on yeah. your side. We go up the other way. I'm surprised they allow the trash can still to be out on a Saturday. Oh, interesting. I don't think they have trash days on Saturdays. But this has the similar architectural design. It's more, like I said, more craftsman. Yeah. Than any of see like that's a very craftsman with the windows like that the, and windows, the pillars yeah and the mm -hmm. and the um, garage mm -hmm. see I like the uni uniqueness yeah. of these houses because it doesn't look like a typical um, like I said a Spanish style here we go right yes try to get at sorry. least Ooh, they have like shake, like a cedar shake kind of style thing. I, I like that. that. Yeah, me too. That's very unique. It kind of reminds me a little more of the Midwest style. Yeah, in yeah. A sense, like they, they're, they're bringing a different vibe. Element. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful these yellow trees are. Yeah, they're beautiful, but they're a pain in the butt because they shed like crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have them in my, uh, wow, this car is going fast. Like a yellow brick road on the sidewalk. There's so many <laughs> flowers. Right. We're going to work our way to the Mesa Park and wrap our tour up. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. Yeah. Well, whoops. Yeah, They're going to let me go anyway. Yeah. They're supposed to. I should have been the... No, I should have been the... Oh, no, I'm kidding. She was nice. <laughs> Look how beautiful it Angela's is. Angela's world. You know, whenever <laughs> we take clients to, say, like, to the Cliffs Village... I always take them through the scenic route, so I, we always go through Mesa Village mm -hmm. um, instead of going to the freeway and just landing on, you know, up to the Cliffs Village. Um, so I, I think it's just so beautiful with all these trees. Yeah, feels good up here. Yeah. Colorado. All right, stop and take a video of the park and get out of here so basically this park is a I think it's a 19 acre park as I mentioned in the beginning of the video it has three softball baseball fields a basketball court tot lot picnic ramadas a playground and it is crowded it's busy it is tennis busy. courts two lighted tennis courts um, you name it this park has it all biking There's yeah biking biking, biking trails mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Bikers over here. That's, oh, wow. softball. People are playing softball. This is awesome. Well, I'm not going to get out, but I have footage of the prior time, the last time we were here, mm -hmm. with drone footage of this park. It's not, you know, it's no different than us going and recording it now. So mm -hmm. we already had the footage. So we'll show you a couple of things. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show here. a lot of things, not a couple of things. We did it, some nice photos and a tour of the park. 
because a lot of times people don't like you recording themselves. Right. Like Rob was um, recording. We we saw him at the Cliffs Oakleaf Park mm -hmm. the other day. And him and his film person, the people were getting mad at him because of the kids being around. They didn't want them to film with the kids. So I'm just going to respect people and not film. So anyway, folks, if you want to learn more about this village, where do they need to go to again, Damien? To, they go to Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. You can call her at 702-370-5112. Well... They need to go to my website or, at, or at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com if you want to learn everything there is to know about the Mesa Village, Mesa Ridge, and all of Summerlin. I am your Summerlin expert. I live and breathe Summerlin. I sell new construction, resale homes in this master plan community. And um, I really appreciate you always supporting my channel and watching my videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, like and subscribe and subscribe to my channel peace out guys see you on the next one